You can create points from simple x and y coordinates in ArcGIS Pro, very similar to ArcMap or any other GIS product. You first have to add your data file. It's already been added here. It's my coordinates table. It's important that you first actually evaluate the file itself to see what information is retained within it. For example here, I can see that I have a latitude and a longitude file, and that is the file that I should be, or the fields that I should be using when I create my spatial data. This table also tells me that it is in the southern hemisphere, specifically east of the um, Greenwich Meridian. You can see latitude is negative, indicating preferably an area in southern Africa. How you create XY coordinates? You simply right-click the layer, say display XY data, and your tool will pop up on the right-hand side in the Geoprocessing tab. You can see here that the input table is set to coordinates, which is my input table down here in the table of contents. This is the name of the feature class that is going to create. It's going to, by default, go into my Practical One geodatabase that was created when I created my project. It sets my X field to longitude and my Y to latitude, which is correct. I don't have any Z fields here in this table. As you can see, there is no column for a Z field, which is my height field. And then I need to specify what my coordinate system will be. Because my coordinate system is quite clearly in degrees, minus 25 and 27, I will leave it at the geographic coordinate system of WGS 1984. As you can see here, it's based on the datum WGS 84, the sphere WGS 84 as well, giving me the X and Y axis of the Earth there. And then I just say run. To see whether or not my result was successful. As you can see here, these points have now been loaded onto my screen. This is now the spatial equivalent of my table, my coordinates table here. If I open my table, I can see that there are 42 instances or entities within this feature class. And if I open my coordinates as well, my coordinates XY table, you'll see that I have 42 points or instances or entities here so I can safely assume that I have displayed all my point data correctly. Another thing that is always helpful to do is to check whether or not you have not perhaps drawn this, um, but there could be an error within it. For example, one of the latitudes could have been left to positive. The best thing to do is there just say zoom to layer. As you can see, I'm only zooming to this view here showing me that all the points drew in more or less the same space. If this wouldn't have been the case, you would have received something like this. You would have had a clustering of points. And if your latitude would have been positive, there would have been a point up here somewhere, so on the opposite side of the equator. And that is a very simple way of displaying your data from a table that is not yet spatial into a spatial layer using the x and y coordinates or the latitudes and the longitudes. Another way to do this, but instead of right-clicking the layer and saying display XY data, would be to go to the geoprocessing tab. If it's not active, you go to view and say geoprocessing. And you basically search for the tool that you're looking for, XY data, or XY, based on if you can remember what the name of the tool is. It's the XY table to point. You open it. You say what the input is, which, is our, which are my coordinates. It will be the name automatically assigned to it. The X field is set to long, which is correct. The Y field is set to long. We don't have Z. We leave it on WGS84, and we run it, and it will execute in the same way as the previous um, tool did. It is actually the same tool. You're just accessing it in a different manner.